Highland Camper Vans. We are based in Inverness in the north of Scotland and we have an award-winning hire fleet. Um, we've been operating for over 15 years and we have a, a, a large selection of motorhomes and compact uh, motorhomes for you to hire and to go exploring around the Highlands of Scotland. So today we thought we'd give you a quick introductory tour around some of the different models that we've got and to show you some of the key features and things that you might want to think about if you're trying to find a motorhome to hire. So please follow me, come along and let's take you inside some of the vehicles. So one of the first things to think about is about the handover that you're going to experience from your hire company. So are they going to have video tours? Is there helpful guidebooks included in the motorhomes? We obviously do all of that and we also have built a purpose-built undercover shelter. So hopefully it's not going to be raining or snowing when you pick up your motorhome, but if it is, it doesn't matter. You're going on an adventure into the great outdoors, but we're going to make sure that you start the journey with your belongings and possessions nice and dry, ready to go into your heated motorhome. Hello again and welcome to the Globe Car Vario motorhome. I'm going to show you this door because it's very windy outside. So at Highland Camper Vans, we specialise in compact motorhomes. So that's really, we define that as a motorhome that's kind of six metres or smaller, and it should normally have some kind of washroom on board with a fixed toilet space. So that's the kind of vehicles that I'm going to show you around today. And the Vario is our largest motorhome that we have on our hire fleet. So it sleeps four people and it has four seat belts for travelling in really important okay that you must make sure you've always got enough seat belts for the number of people traveling it is illegal to put people in rear lounges without seat belts now okay so make sure you don't ever get caught out with that um, so in this particular vehicle though we've got a great big double bed upstairs um, ideal we'll sleep two adults or two children depending on the ages um, but you can climb up there there's a ladder that will help you get to the top or if you're smaller and agile you can step on the sides and climb up for overnight sleeping areas now, as you can see, this is the kitchen area, very compact. We've got a little fridge in here, so it is enough for a wine bottle, a little bit of a milk, a bit of cheese and ham. But otherwise, you are going to need to stock up and carry on with supplies as you go around the highlands. So if you want to pre-order food from supermarkets, we are happy to accept deliveries to the base. OK, but please just make sure you order the real basic essentials, um, tea bags, coffee, etc. So that you can get you on your journey. But you will find some fantastic places to stop and eat and buy local farm produ produce as you're going around the highlands. So um, you don't need to overstock. Just have the basics. Sink wise and units like that, this one here, we've got a small sink at the side of us and we've got a little three burner hob, um, a stove. So it's just the grill tops, other than just the hob tops. We've got these amazing little camping toasters though that just sit on the top so you can still have baked beans on toast and eggs on toast for breakfast. But as you will see, there is no space for an oven or a fully fledged Sunday roast in this particular vehicle. And we do have a couple of vehicles on our hire fleet that have got ovens. So if that's something that's really important to you and the way you eat, it's fine. You know, then, then, then we have got those vehicles, but you just need to be looking at that in the photographs and thinking what's there. This one has a fantastic storage under here. Great big swing out cupboards. It's got drawers that come out, little cupboards underneath, and it's got so much space in storage in the upper covers you really can't overpack um, and bring too much stuff with you when it comes to holidaying with teenagers and children and families. Um, if you have got dogs, so some of our motorhomes are pet friendly, um, we can if you need to on a van like this we can actually take the backboard away there and actually that creates a garage space underneath that pets can travel through so especially if you have got a particularly larger dog it's a bit more space with it going through. However something to think about is with traveling with pets is think about the size of your pets and how big they are so as you can see here this galley is quite a narrow space to walk through so if you have got a big dog and a big family you have to think will you all fit through will you all be able to move around the space and learn how to to go along and to have a fantastic holiday together so in terms of washroom and showering everyone wants to see that so if i just show you this really quickly so this is the shower and this amazing little van the floor space comes out we undo the cubicle here and i'm going to slide that behind me there and then bye bye joe i'm going in here Shower in I'm going to pull it back so I don't hide from you. There's a curtain that comes across and you've even got a little toilet, a little proper toilet, a little sink, the handle comes out so there you've got your shower head as well all wrapped into one and there's some nice big mirrors. Not that you're going to do makeup when you're on holiday, you're camping, we're glamping but we don't need makeup. So we get to just chill and relax and enjoy ourselves but as you can see that tucks away so it's just really hidden and discreet. So it's basic, it's functional, and it just means that you can go out and have adventures, go for a lovely walk, come back to the van, and the most important thing is the kettle and the cup of tea. That's what we go for. 
and welcome to the Auto Sleepers Warwick. So Auto Sleepers are a UK brand who have been renowned for build quality for many, many years. So they've got great attention to detail and they build vans kind of specifically for the UK market that like the ovens, the microwaves and the slightly bigger kitchen space. So again, you've got a good size fridge freezer space in the van here, a sink unit, a three burner hob, lots of cupboard space under here for the kettles, the toasters, everything else. You've even got an extractor fan, more than some of us have got at home. And then down here, you've actually got a huge array of upper cupboards, but this is what's particularly good about the Warwick that I like about it, and it's great for couples or friends who are perhaps traveling together. So you have this great big bed, these two sides pulled together into middle, and this is a giant king size rear bed or you can keep it as it is. And if we take off the backs on here, then you can actually slide the seat bed out slightly and you've got two good long single beds that fit two proper adults and plenty of space to get up in the night time to go to the toilet or whatever else and space to stand up and get dressed and move around. So this is a layout that's great just for couples or friends traveling together or single people by themselves. You know, the van, it's 5.99 meters long. There's a lovely great big washroom toilet in here um, and it's got all the home comforts that you could possibly need after a day out exploring in the Highlands. Hi, so we're now in the Auto Sleepers Nuevo. So this is also a two berth motorhome with two seat belts, just driver and passenger seat. And then on this layout, we've got a bed at the front lounge area and then the bed slides together to make a huge double bed. Or if you are traveling as, as two singles, you can actually also slide the seats out forward, spin the drivers and passenger seat around and you can make two single beds. So it, this is a great van for people who like to maybe entertain, have people over for coffee. And again, you've got a fantastic lounge space if somebody wants to, to sit up and have a cup of tea when you're going through. Again, like the auto sleepers that we just saw previously, this particular vehicle has got, a, a, this has probably got an even bigger oven and a grill. Um, it's got a hob unit extractor fan at the top, a four ring hob. So you've actually got an electric plate on the top and three gas hobs, a sink unit. And then here behind me here, again, you've got a fantastic fridge large with lots of space inside it and a microwave and most importantly as well in some of the motorhomes in here not you can't see this but you've got wine glass holders and we like that a lot when we're going away in our vans so up in here large wardrobe space the tables and everything hide away in here and there's a big table that comes and stands by itself or there's a little post that comes in as a little coffee table as well at the front so it's nice when you're sitting and relaxing and just going away on your holidays one of the things I love most about this particular van though, what's fantastic, is the bathroom. And if you look in here with me, we've got a lovely, you've got a little toilet there. And then on this side of it, we've actually got a swing out shower unit. I'm gonna duck down here and you can see that slides out. And if you're stepping inside there, you've actually got a proper solid shower cubicle. Now this motorhome is actually only 5.74 meters long. So it's well under six meters. So it's small, it's compact, it's easy to drive on the Highland roads, on the narrow roads. But again, it feels so much more spacious. And this is what we call a coach built motorhome. So it's actually, um, it's white on the outside. You may have seen that on the photographs, but as you step into it, it's just a little bit wider than the panel vans, but it does give you a sense of space in a very small compact motorhome. And welcome now to the Globe Car Road Scout. So this is our smallest um, compact motorhome that we have on our hire fleet. Um, it's only 5.4 meters long. It's a panel van size, but it's small and compact, easy to drive, but it does have a fixed toilet on board and also a shower, which is where I'm standing just now. So small kitchen, dinette area, um, it's got everything, the basics that you need just for getting away on your holiday. It's got a fantastic fixed double bed, incredible amounts of storage underneath the bed, golf clubs, outdoor kit, um, rucksacks. It's also these move away. So if you've got a pet traveling with you as well, again, once you're parked up, you can take those away and allow space for the pet to go through as a little garage underneath and just more space for everybody. Um, now we advertise this vehicle as a two berth uh, motorhome. However, as you'll see in here on the, in the video, we actually have four seat belts. So if you are looking um, to travel perhaps with older children, with teenagers, and you're happy to stay on campsites, then you could always actually travel as a, as a family group of four, but allow the, the teenagers to sleep in pup tents and small little mountain tents just outside the doorway. Um, but again, you would need to be on campsites for that, for the, for the rules and regulations. Um, so just check with them. But otherwise, it's a fantastic small motorhome, ideal for navigating around the narrow island roads. And really, yes, yeah, one of my favorite vehicles on the fleet. So welcome to the Swift Select 144 motorhome. Um, so this particular motorhome is fantastic on the hire fleet for, for trying before you buy. And it's great for people who perhaps aren't too sure in what they're looking for in the features in a motorhome. 
So on this particular layout, we've actually got a front and rear lounge and bed area. So if you're not sure whether you want a fixed rear bed or whether you want a lounge space or how you plan on using your vehicle, then this can be a great way for you to go on a try and have a holiday and then just see how it works out for you. So on the front here, we've actually got four seat belts and four traveling seats. There is a third bed kind of option at this front end here. Again, with a van like this, because you've got the seat belts, you could have older children in a pop tent outside the motorhome on a campsite. Um, but otherwise, you've also got uh, the bed at the rear is, a, is a, a bed that you can leave set up for the whole of the week as a, a fixed rear bed. Or you can try taking it up and down each day and just having that and using it as a rear lounge space in the daytime. So it's fantastic for space and for everybody sitting around plenty of space for en entertaining and encouraging other people to come around with you great big lounge uh, a wardrobe space in here a great big fridge space in here with it coming through and then in this particular van again you've got a fantastic shower and toilet room on here there's a small grill um, for the uk star market and then on here we've just got a two ring hob and a basic sink unit lots of storage space above and below and around so again this particular van like i say is it's excellent for people who are trying out different models are not necessarily sure of what they're looking for in their hire motorhome. So a couple of other top tips probably for those who are thinking of hiring a motorhome um, to try the experience is just to look at your hire company and have a look online and find out from them. So first of all, what are their collection return times? Is there a mileage policy? Is there a limit on, on how far or where you can go to? A lot of companies won't allow vehicles to go off to Europe and things. So you just need to check that out and make sure it's not going to interfere with your travel plans. Um, another thing to consider as well is how long you hire for. So you need at least, if you're thinking of potentially of buying a motorhome, you need at least three nights in a motorhome. Um, the first night, almost always, you will inevitably crash into each other, you'll bang into each other, you'll get in each other's way if you're with a couple of people. The second night, you'll start to get the flow, you'll start to go, right, you sit there, I'll do this. And by the third night, you've kind of clicked and you've sort of got into the routine of it. And if you really find after the fifth night, sixth night that actually this isn't for you, then to hire a motorhome first and have learned that experience Experience very early on will save uh, an awful lot of money if you've gone and bought the wrong motorhome and, and, and you've got the wrong thing so it's worth certainly trying it and having a go with it um, other things to think about in your terms of the hire company is also to look at what on-call support they give you whilst you're away in your motorhome um, they are complicated machines there's a lot of technology in them which is great because um, it can make things very easy for you to use but it also does mean sometimes that things go wrong um, with the control panels if you put things on in the wrong order different error messages come up so you just want to know really that there's a complex comprehensive handbook inside the motorhome for when you're traveling away and if there is a problem is there any 24-hour support that they can you can give a call to somebody and they can try and help talk you through problems and what's the call out policy if something if a pump goes or something else will they come and fix it on site wherever you are will you need to travel back down to their base all these kind of things you need to think of um, and look at as well um, a lot of our motorhomes have got uh, comprehensive sat nav mobile media systems in them now um, so great with reversing cameras everything else just again look at the photographs look at what you're hiring and just check have you got all of that um, any motorhomes that you're hiring should have a gas safe certificate in them and a copy of that should be in the motorhome when you go to drive away in with the handbook and information again if that's not talked about on the information online then ask your ask the company that you're hiring from have they got that certificate have they checked it just like anybody hiring out a house has to have it the same um, certificate um, so really it's just making sure that um, the company you're hiring from is, is, is doing it properly, is giving the advice and support. Uh, really strongly recommend a website called Camper, uh, www.campa.org.uk. Uh, that organisation is a collaboration of motorhome hire companies based in Scotland and they've put together a really good basic guide and just the key things to think about in terms of waste disposal, safe driving um, and informal campsites and where you can go to and things. So it's, it's really good advice and information on that resource so have a look at that as well when you're planning the trip but really we'd like to say welcome you if Highland Camper Vans can help you have a look online have a look at our website the pictures the videos if you've got any questions at all please don't hesitate to get in touch with our hires team we're really friendly really happy to help and we really just want everybody to have amazing memories um, in Scotland in our motorhomes thank you